speaking of the brain, there's been growing interest in recent years on how we can actually retrain our brains. They're plastic and moldable, and we can actually improve our mental health concentration or sleep. For someone who's suffered a severe brain injury, this is an especially exciting development. I talked to a young man about the treatment he found here in Denver that's changed his life. If you've ever wondered what's going on inside your head, this somewhat funny looking cap could tell you. It's a 19 point channel cap that allows us to measure brainwave activities. And so we look at that data and, and certain patterns can be inferred that uh, as to why a patient may experience emotional distress. But it's what Dr. McWhorter does with that data that's really interesting. Over the next several sessions, the patient will have parts of their brain stimulated in a process called neurofeedback that will actually change the brain. The reward center of the, the brain is, is given a feedback, whether that's an auditory, a visual, or a tactile kind of reward. Those who've experienced a brain injury know how the brain can change. Until recently, Andrew McFarland struggled with severe depression. Utter hopelessness, insane suicidal thoughts. I was on so many different medications for so many years and no doctor could really tell me what was wrong. It was a therapist who finally brought up the possibility of brain injury from his youth spent playing football. McWhorter CNR. This that led him to Dr. McWhorter's office. It's relatively common. I find uh, a, a large percentage of the population that deals with long-standing neurological deficits. It's almost normal in my clinical opinion that eventually we start having some emotional distress associated with those lack of functions. We actually are addressing correcting the causation of a lot of these ailments. McFarland says each neurofeedback session gave him an energy boost. Over time and multiple sessions, the changes to the brain stick. Compare it against Dr. McWhorter says neurofeedback is a great complement to talk therapy or other mental health treatments. For McFarland, he's no longer on any medication. Things are just so much easier. I don't get irritated at little things as much as I would in the past. Everything here has just changed my life for the better. And I'm just so blessed to even be pointed in this direction and so thankful and so excited for the future. A remarkable change for him. Uh, insurance may reimburse neurofeedback, so that's something to check with your provider. And it's not just used for brain injury patients. Uh, Brian, in fact, any of us could do it. Dr. McWhorter said a lot of his patients are actually business executives who hmm. want to perform better in the boardroom and just be sharper. Interesting. More focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just something to uh, ease some of that stress, I'm uh -huh. sure, as well.